Bonjour and welcome to my channel. Today I upgrade my K40 to allow me to adjust the height of the bed so it's easier to cut or engrave the wood. Let me show you. I place the laser, I place a piece of wood and then I have to measure the distance between the laser and the piece of wood which is exactly 15.8 millimeter. As you can see it's too high. I have to lower the bed a little bit so let's do it. I have to remove the parts and then remove the bed and under the bed I have two lift platforms that I bought on Amazon. I use them for a couple of months now and if I want to lower it I have to screw it to adjust the height. Once it is adjusted I have to place it back and then check the height and if it's not okay come back and readjust again so it's a pain. I need to find a way to adjust the height using a motor but the shaft is very near the bottom. So I had the idea to buy extension uh, magnetic shaft for a screwdriver, a 4mm screwdriver. So I intend to, to grind this part so I can fit the extension within uh, the shaft, over the shaft. And to do that I will have to uh, drill the extension but as you can see it fits. So it's very very small and it's perfect for that purpose. So this was the main idea that I had. Now if I want to place it back on the bottom there's another problem I cannot fit them so I decided to place them at an angle like this so I have to design kind of a support to allow me to place them and remove them easily if I need to clean the, the bottom of the, the laser. First off I have to drill the extension to make it fit and then grind the shaft so it fits perfectly. After grinding the two shaft and drilling the two screwdriver extensions I was ready to apply the epoxy glue to fix everything together. The next step was to solidly attach the motor with the screwdriver shaft and I decided to use one of the parts that came with the screwdriver extension and pinch it to fit it between the motor and the shaft. Then I was ready to design something to allow me to fit the two lift on the bottom part of my laser so I designed something in Fusion 360 that I was able to cut uh, on my laser. Then I used Inkscape to prepare the cut using the DXF exported from Fusion 360 and cut it with my laser. Notice that I used kind of a puzzle shape to join the two parts together. The reason is that my laser do not have a large enough bed to cut the whole thing at once. And by the way, I glued the two parts together with another plywood. Then I prepared and cut supports for the two motors. Now let's talk about the electronic circuit. First I have a Three. position switch to allow me to flip between the two motors. I have a potentiometer to adjust the speed of the motors. I have three LEDs to identify the direction of the motors. I use two switches to control the height of the platforms. I use an Arduino Nano to control everything and I use an age bridge L293D to control the two motors. The circuit is quite simple. Okay, it was time to design the circuit using Eagle so I can create the electronic circuit to cut on my CNC. I simply reproduced the paper version of the circuit that was already tested on the breadboard. After designing the circuit, it was time to place the components on the board and you will see me create many versions of it until I kind of stabilize what I want to have as the configuration. Oh, 
Okay, after stabilizing the electronic circuit that I wanted, I decided to upload it into Fusion to allow me to verify if the circuit fits inside the enclosure that I previously designed. The next step is loading all the files in FlatCam, then for each of them, I have to generate a geometry file, then from the geometry, I need to generate a toolpath, and then from that toolpath, I need to generate an NC file to be read by my CNC. And I do that for each of the layers. One layer for the top, one for the bottom, one for the holes, the drills, one for the profile, and then I load BCNC. BCNC is the software that I use to control the CNC. But first, I have to prepare and glue the copper clad board on the surface. Here I try to show you the interaction between the physical world and the interface driving the CNC. The cutting part is the most critical because I have to let the CNC cut one side, flip the board, cut the other side, drill the holes, and then cut the profile. So it's very delicate. Now the main part is the electronic circuit. I soldered the pins on my microcontroller, did a couple of checks. As you can see, my, I have a printed version of my electronic circuit uh, by my side. I checked the board and everything seems to be correct. I found no issues whatsoever. So the montage was quite fast. Finally, it took maybe about an hour to solder everything and mount everything into the enclosure. As you saw, I use jumper cables for every connections that I had to make on the board, including the motors, because they do not consume more than 40 milliamps. So this kind of connection is way enough. As you can see, the motors are held in place using plywood and the plywood that holds the motor are held in place using another slice of plywood. The idea is to make sure that everything can move freely so it can remove everything clean up with the, the uh, vacuum cleaner if necessary. I adjusted the layers with the motors and decided to finish the enclosure. Uh, as you can see, I'm actually engraving a small 1.5 millimeter thick plywood to fit on top of the enclosure. I glued the faceplate with uh, epoxy glue. And I added a nub as the finishing touch. This is what it looks like. I printed a bottom part and I only taped it. It's a little bit wiggling, but it's okay. Let me show you how it works. If I flip the switch on the right side and I push the up button, the platform on the right side goes up. If I flip it on the left, the left side goes up. If I flip it in the center, I can adjust both at the same time and with the nub, as you can hear, I can change the speed. So it's very precise. Now let's say I want to cut a plywood. It may be different thickness. Let's take one of them, this one. I place the laser over it and I have my measure. Now I can lower the bed with my electric motors. It's so easier. Now let's try to adjust the height with another layer, thickness, sorry. See, very easy. I can even adjust the speed so it's very, very precise. If I wanna adjust the other side, same thing, but I flip the switch. That's it. That's so useful. And here we have it, the final product. It's looking very good and it's very, very useful.
In fact, for me, it's going to be so easier, much, much easier to align or, you know, level the bed. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I hope I inspire you. And until the next video, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Bye.